up guys my shanta here and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi welcome make sure you join the family join the game pin there at subscribe button and also make sure you hit that post notification bell because you do not want to miss what your girl got cooking up next okay as you're seeing by the title of today's video we are going to be doing another cooking vlog but before we get started make sure you guys share with a friend join the family join the game and let's go ahead and get into the video for today's video, we are going to be cooking lemon pepper fish with some yellow rice and green beans. And as y'all can see, to go ahead and get started, I am going to be cooking my rice first. I am pouring out that starch, which is why I wash my rice, because as y'all can see, the water is like white. That's literally all starch. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and just pour the rice into a pot. I'm going to go ahead and get my seasonings. You know what I do. All right, y'all, get into those seasonings. Number one, we're gonna use chicken base. And for number two, we're gonna use onion powder. And for number three, we are gonna be using some garlic powder. After adding all of those seasonings, we are going to mix everything together, taste the juice. It's important to always taste your juice because how your juice tastes is how your rice is going to taste. As y'all can see, I went ahead and added more. <laughs> I added some more chicken base to it. It's important to taste that juice, y'all. So if y'all want to add something before putting it on the stove, y'all can really just go ahead and just add those seasonings in there. All right, y'all, now we're gonna go ahead and add some butter because dear said butter make it taste butter, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and add in a full stick of butter. I just used two halves because two halves go a whole map, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stove. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on medium. And then whenever it comes to a boil, we're just gonna go ahead and put the lid on top. All right, y'all, we're gonna make some green beans. Green beans, they're pretty much so easy to make. Um, Watch me struggle trying to open this can, y'all, because I don't know how to use a can opener. Let's not talk about it. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just open up these cans. And then at some point, y'all going to see me um, open up the can, pour out the juice, because I like to make my own juice. Because as y'all can see, with the same thing with the rice, um, adding my own seasonings and everything of that sort. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour out that juice. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to make my own juice with my seasonings and everything like that. All right, y'all, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some water because like I said, I am making my own juice. Just enough water to um, make sure that it's covering the top of the green beans. And then going in with those same seasonings um, with the rice. I don't know why I can't talk y'all. Same seasonings I used for the rice. So garlic powder, onion powder, and chicken base. All right, we're gonna go ahead and walk it over to the stove so we can go ahead and have it come to a boil. Um, I'm gonna put it on high for right now and then put the lid on top so it can keep boiling. Getting into the fun part, y'all, our lemon pepper fish. These are all of the seasonings that you're gonna need, so let's go ahead and get into it. In addition to these seasonings, you are going to need lemons. Emphasis on lemons, and you're also going to need oil. Um, I believe I had eight to nine pieces of fish because kind of, I wouldn't say it's meal prep, but I wanted fresh fish like every day instead of me like cooking all the fish in the air fryer and putting it in the refrigerator. I just pre-seasoned all of them and then just wrapped them up. So whenever I was ready to eat them, I could just pop them in the air fryer so they're fresh. So as y'all can see, I ripped out maybe 
eight to nine pieces of foil because like I said, I don't like overnight fish, especially in the air fryer. This is just my personal preference, but we can go ahead and get into the seasonings, y'all. Getting into the garlic powder, onion powder, basically like all the seasonings I just showed y'all, you basically just gonna season every single piece of fish with every single seasoning. And then one thing I do like to do, y'all, after using that chicken base, I do like to rub those seasonings in. I don't know why I like to do it, but I don't know. It just makes me feel like everything is just going to be seasoned. I don't know if it made sense, but it made sense to me. So after using that chicken base, I am going to go ahead and just rub all of those seasonings in and together. Okay. All right, after using all of those seasonings, this is what it should look like. Looks so seasoned. After that, you're literally just gonna flip your piece of fish over and do the same exact thing on the other side. Before I continued, I did wanna pop in on my sides real quick. As y'all can see, the green beans are coming to a boil. So I went ahead and just turned those off and then the rice was almost finished. So I kind of peeked in on that as well. Looks delicious. Now I just have to focus on the fish. All right, y'all, after using those seasonings, I am gonna go ahead and go in with some paprika because it always leaves my food looking real golden and real crispy, okay? Popping back in on our rice. Rice is all complete, so moist, ready to eat, y'all. y'all going ahead and getting back into our fish fish is all complete this is basically what it should start looking like um this is the rest of the fish as well i did these off camera i told y'all i had about maybe eight to nine pieces in total so now what we're going to um still can't talk y'all <laughs> so now what we're going to go ahead and do is basically with the foil you're going to try and make like a miniature foil bowl if that makes sense because you don't want the juice from the fish and everything of that sort to be leaking out so that's the whole point of having it in a bowl so i'm gonna go ahead and not do it off camera but we're gonna kind of like time lapse it because i do have like nine pieces of fish but that's basically how you want it looking y'all i got like nine bowls to do but we're gonna just do them in a time lapse slash off camera okay <laughs> y'all as y'all can see we are making some progress now we're going to go ahead and get into these lemons so what you're going to need you're going to need a cutting board you're going to need a knife and you're really going to take that very first lemon to make lemon slices that was a tongue twister for me y'all but you're going to take that first lemon and you're going to make lemon slices because you need one lemon slice per piece of fish 
And honestly, y'all, it's really a personal preference thing. If you want to use a full slice, if you want to use a half slice, it's really up to you. But for me, I am going to go ahead and start doing that using a full lemon slice for each piece of fish. All right, after cutting those slices, we are gonna go ahead and place each one on each piece of fish. So, ain't really that much explaining to do for this part. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just let y'all, you know. <laughs> Now y'all can't tell me that this don't look too good, y'all. Literally looks so good, so fresh. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna grab another lemon, and then we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze a little bit of that juice on each piece of fish. All right, after doing so, we are gonna go ahead and just add that last finishing touch, which is gonna be those parsley flakes, really just to give it that finishing look, that finishing touch, makes it look all professional, okay? After adding those finishing touches, literally looks so delicious, y'all. Literally cannot wait to sit down and eat. But um, to go ahead and finish up seasoning and adding everything, we are gonna add some butter. Um, what I did was I cut two pieces of butter for each piece of fish. And voila, you got eight to nine pieces of fish that are already pre-seasoned and ready to go inside of the air fryer. So as y'all can see here, I'm taking that first piece of fish. I think I'm gonna pop two in there. Um, I'm gonna put that first one, gonna put that second one in there. And then if you have an air fryer, all you have to do is just press the fish button and then it'll automatically go off for you, which I think for me was about maybe like 15 minutes on 325. So if you guys wanted to do those same settings, you can do that. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the pre-seasoned fish and I'm gonna go ahead and just place it in my refrigerator. As the fish gets closer to getting done, I am gonna go ahead and start fixing my sides so that all my food can be ready to go. As soon as the fish comes out of the air fryer, I can just go ahead and sit down and eat. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw some green beans and some rice on a plate. All right, fish is done. And look at that, y'all. Fish looks so good. This is the final result. This is literally looking so good, ready to eat. Tell me that to look good, y'all. <laughs> Tell me that to look good, y'all. All 
right, you know a chef got to try his food, you know? So let's go ahead and get into it, trying the green beans. Those are literally delicious. Love me a green bean jam. All right, then get into the rice, because y'all know rice is like my favorite side. But y'all know that's going to be good. <laughs> rice is good as well. And then, of course, look, I had to take two scoops. I'm crying. <laughs> All right. And then getting into the fish. Can I get a drum roll, please? Look at that. Look at that steam. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed the cooking vlogs, make sure you guys let your girl know in the comment section. And I'll go ahead and catch you on the next one. Bye.